Hey y'all. So, um, I'm gonna make this a quick video. I see a lot of people like to watch the mukbangs or the mukbangs or whatever they're called and seafood, you know, people eating seafood. So I have some crab legs here, just some snow crab, nothing exciting. I'm sorry for my sniffles and whatnot. I'm getting over a um, sinus infection. But anyway, so um, a lot of people don't know how to eat crab. They think that you need all these tools and stuff, but you don't. I'm going to show you what you do. So here I have a leg and I have ripped it from the cluster. When I say the cluster, I mean this part this knuckle or whatever but it's called the cluster anyway so i've ripped it from that and I'm pulling off all the shells here pulling off the shells and you have to be careful because even the snow crabs have uh you know defense mechanisms on them uh, like these little thorns and stuff anyway so there's your meat here there's the meat. <clears throat> well, I've gotten all my meat out. Now, this is the part where people get frustrated because they think the meat's supposed to come out whole. So, people normally do this and they try to break it. Try to break this. Well, in order to get the meat out whole, like the end off because this little piece of end is holding the meat in there then you break it perfect see how it just came off the bottom pull it right out simple 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 <clears throat> i'll show you how to do the claw again it's not that difficult you can break it with your hand just like that it's broken with your hand break it Take the claw and just dig out the meat with the claw. Y'all got to remember, I've been eating crab since I was little. Like, I probably knew what crab legs was before I knew what McDonald's was. I was born in Florida. We love seafood down here. We eat a lot of seafood and stuff. Anyway, so you see your claw like that. Okay, just like that. So there's a line right here on the claw. Put that down by your teeth. It's already got a crack in it, if you can kind of see. Uh, but anyway, there's a like a crack in it already. Put that down on your teeth, right down, and bite down. Okay? Now you got a real good crack in it now. Now, you do the rest with your hand. You're doing the rest with your hand. A little part, shell comes right off. You see that? It's easy. Other side, pull it off. Sometimes you'll get like the meat will be like that, but now you can just pull it off. And it pulls out whole. Sometimes it come off in little chunks, but that's okay. And then you take, <coughs> excuse me. And then the claw part that moves, you see the part, this part is staying still, but then you have this part that moves, the little joint part. Pull that all the way back and twist it and pull it out. Okay? And then the rest of your meat just falls right out. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Have a little bit left. Let's scoop it out. Ain't that difficult? Okay. Eating crabs is not easy. <clears throat> the first few times you do it, you gotta know what you're doing. But then once you get it, you'll be eating them all the time because you know what you're doing. And it's not a lot of work, it's just technique. So, the little thing with the thing on it. You got your little cartilage or whatever you call it. Snap that right out. Right out. <coughs> and that's all you're doing. I 
my syrup. <coughs> my syrup. All right. So we'll start from this. Show you again. The knuckle with the um, cluster. Let me get this little part off first. And when I say they have little thorns and defense mechanisms on them, they have these little things, these little thorns, just like that. So just be careful. And they hurt if they'll get in your hand. All right, so I have the cluster like that. All right, I'm gonna hold this part. Pull, pull, boom. See that? It's me. Ain't nothing on it, just me. Okay? this leg <clears throat> you can kind of see some meat like right in the top of it bites this little joint right here just bite it off bite it off because if you don't when you break it <clears throat> you try to break it in half it will get stuck in this side and I'll do it just to show you what it's going to do so I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to do this it came from the bottom because it wasn't real stuck in there. But, oh, okay, well, never mind. Well, it wasn't down off in there. But sometimes if you don't break it right, the meat will get stuck in the top and you got to break that part over and it's just a mess. So, you just break that. All right, again, the little leg. Pull that straight up. <clears throat> My spices. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my sauce is spicy, so I'm choking up a little bit, just like that. Okay, that's it. Nothing else. I'll try it and do it again. Got the cluster. I pulled the leg right off. Okay. I'm biting the top off. Biting the top off, put the top off the leg there. Pull this, twist, and it doesn't look like it's stuck, but I'm gonna bite it off just in case. Put the bottom on, sit that clean. Pretty much clean at the top here. Uh, I'm gonna bite it some more, because it look like it's got a little more on there. Bite that off. Now, clean snap. Boom. Uh, it's sticking, huh? There it is. Whole piece of meat. That's all you're doing. It's just the technique. And once you get that, you'll be wanting to eat crab legs as much as you can. And the experience will be better. Because you won't think, you know, you won't be sitting there, you know, worried that. Oh God, I can't get these. Or you get frustrated and you just want to move on to eat something else. Mmm. It's so good. Ooh. These are smaller. Same thing. Rip it from the cluster. Pull this off from around it, and then there's your meat, just like that. Okay, bite the top off yet again, break that, bite the bottom. These are smaller. These are smaller, so I'm gonna have to like hold it real good 
and smack it. Okay? See that? Whole piece of meat. Not that difficult. Well, again, I pull that. Little piece of meat. Again, this is a little part with the little thing on it. Boom. Hole. Okay? Now, it's what people get nervous about, but it's meat in there. If you don't get it all out when you twist the legs off, it's still meat in there. So, I don't know if my light's a little bright. But anywho, so you pull all this shell part off, you got meat in there. Like good white meat. This is usually what they make crab cakes out of. Not a snow crab, but the blue crab part. But meat. It's good and tender. You don't want to be throwing that away. Be wasting. Crabs are expensive. And you want to be able to get all that you've bought and paid for. So, look at that. All that meat. If you've been throwing that away, I know you probably want to scream. But, that's why I'm showing you. Because people don't know. They want to eat this stuff, but they don't know how to eat it. But I've been raised on it my whole entire life. So, this is how you do it. It's not hard. Don't be wasteful. Eat how you want to eat, but I'm just saying. If you want to be able to enjoy, you know, all of it, that's how you do it. See that? Nothing but the shell left. Nothing but the shell left. All the meat is gone now. It's my last little piece on the knuckle with a cluster. And that's it. I ain't use no tools yet except my hands and my teeth. That's it. And then when you get like to the end, you get all the meat on. It's a little more meat in there. You can bite it. And you can squeeze it out with your teeth. Okay? Squeeze it out. And we come around. We come around. And that's all you gotta do. It ain't hard. <clears throat> I got my crab legs from Publix. It's a grocery store here in Florida. They may have some, I think they have some in it. I know they have some in Alabama. Georgia, and maybe in the Carolinas, but I don't know how far out they go. But this grocery store started in Florida, in Lakeland, which is about like, where am I? About like, like an hour away from where I live. Um, started there, and yeah, I just go back there to the um, seafood counter or the meat department, and they have them in the, in the case. In the showcase and I usually get them when they're on sale you can probably get them on sale for like $9.99 a pound sometimes you get them cheaper than that $7.99 $8.99 but today I didn't care that they were not on sale and they were thirty ninety nine a pound so I just got me some and I don't know what I got but I paid like $28 for all the ones that I bought. Anyway, um, so I guess I got two pounds. Just over two pounds. Um, okay, again, I bit the top off. Um, breaking this part, twisting. I'm gonna bite the end off. See that? Bite this just the tip. Okay. Just bite that off. You ain't losing no meat. And the little bit that do come out, it's going right in your mouth, and you just pull the shell out. That's it. Alright. I got a look, I got a little stuck in the top. So I bit that part off too. 
Now, I'm gonna break where the meat is. If you look at the shell, it kind of looks a little transparent on one side and kind of solid on the other. Break in the part where it's solid, where you feel like the meat is. You can feel it. You can feel the weight of it. And snap it right there. And came on off. And right up. That's all you're doing. Not that hard. You just take a couple tries. And I'm telling you, you don't need no special tools. You know, eating like this in a restaurant, you know, may not be we about a cup of tea or whatever. But usually when people eat crab legs and stuff like that, you can eat at home with your family and friends. Everybody looking crazy, okay? Even in the restaurant sometimes, most of the time you eat at a seafood restaurant, everybody looking crazy. They know what it is. You ain't come there to eat steaks or whatever. You came there to eat crab legs or whatever you eating. And everybody know it's messy. And if somebody looking at you some type of way, look back at them. Hello, can I help you? Mind your business. Susie, Tom, Dick and Harry, whoever. So anyway, um, yeah. So I pulled that right on. Yeah. I don't know. That's it. Mm. Mm. And for my butter sauce, okay, it's, it's been a little super hood, okay? I got a little bowl, my little bowls from Ikea. I put um, one stick one stick of salted butter in it. And then I put about probably three tablespoons of the two times spicy hot sauce. So if you're familiar with the two times spicy noodle challenge or any of the spicy noodle challenges, in the package is ramen noodles um and it's not like the ramen noodles you can buy out of your regular grocery store you have to get them like um from uh the oreo in the market or you can order them on amazon and the package is red but anyway well they sell that sauce that you put on the noodles in a bottle and i bought that on amazon i went to my oreo in the market and unfortunately they didn't have it so i had to buy it um on amazon it was eight dollars for a bottle just like that about that size just a few ounces and you don't need a lot because it's spicy but it's sweet at the same time but you have to be careful honey because if you're not equipped to be eating no spicy stuff you can mess yourself up here so you have to be you know use it sparingly and be careful but like I said, I put it in my salt and my butter because I wanted the extra flavor. I'm diabetic and I've had high blood pressure. Both are very controlled. So I know how to eat and I know how to, you know, what I can't eat. Um, so that's why I put that in my sauce instead of using like, you know, other salts or other seasonings and stuff like that. And I also put a little bit of paprika, smoked paprika in it. And that's it. A little exciting and then i had mm, so the Publix deal i lost forgot about that so i bought my crabs from Publix, and i go back there to the, uh, the, the seafood department and whatnot and then i tell them what i want how much i want and then i ask them to steam them a lot of people don't know you can get your um like certain stuff steamed at the grocery store you don't have to bring it home and cook it if you you know for me i prefer my things steamed i don't like my seafood boiled or anything like that because it takes away it waters it down it takes away the flavor when you steam it it's not it doesn't get waterlogged it's just steamed and it's steamed for a, you know less than five minutes and that's another thing people don't know when you're cooking seafood you cook crab legs longer than like five minutes you know, if they're not frozen, frozen, baby, them things are going to be hard. They're going to be crunchy, crisp. They ain't going to be coming out. So you ask them to do it at the store. It's not, I know at Publix, they don't charge you extra for it or anything like that. It's just, that's what you say. May I have them steam? And I had mine steam with Old Bay. Just a little Old Bay on it. 
you can see it on the on the leg there's just a little bit of um seasoning left on it i'll wipe it off so you can see on my finger but it's just obey seasoning that's all it is anyway what they do you know so going to these restaurants and stuff and it's fun if you want to just go to the restaurant whatever that's fine but you get more crab legs if you just buy it from the grocery store and let them do all the hard work for you you get way more than you would if you went to a restaurant you go to a restaurant you only get one pound and then they charge you probably forty dollars for it i got what two and a half pounds of crab legs almost two and a half pounds of crab legs for under thirty dollars and that they weren't on sale had they been on sale i could have probably gotten three or four pounds for almost the same price so It's up to you. People want to do a lot of stuff for the gram or whatever. And that's your business. <clears throat> but me, I am a tight wad with my money. I ain't no broke girl. And I ain't no rich girl. But I am careful about my coins. And, um, you know. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I had to break this because I could feel it was not fixing to pull out. See how this is going to break off right there? It's going to break. So, I need to snap that top part off because it was holding on. Now, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. Came right out. It's a little piece left in there, but oh, no, I got it. And squeeze it with your teeth, it'll come right out. Okay. Use the crab. If you feel like you need a tool to help you get something out, use the crab. Child, you think back in 19 or the whenever people start eating seafood, they had utensils to do stuff with? No. Right here. These choppers. If you got false teeth or anything like that, and you feel like you're gonna hurt yourself by all means, or you don't want to, you know, you gonna damage your teeth or something like that. By all means, use whatever tools you want to. But I am telling you, you don't really need it. Um, if you, you know, you don't have any restrictions on your dental work or anything like that. I've never even had cavities before, so um, it's not a problem for me. And snow crabs are not that hard. Some crabs are very hard. <laughs> snow crabs, don't do that. Don't, do not. <laughs> With snow crabs, you can bite them because they're not that hard. So, yeah. And there you go. Got all my meat. There we go. Bite that part on. So you <clears throat> got a little meat. You use these. Get that one. No. Break. You can twist it. A little meat. A little meat came out. That's fine. Okay. This is this part. Now, I'm going to bite down here where the meat is. So that's where I want it to break. If I break it at the top, I'm gonna be struggling to get it out. So break that, see that? That came right out. Boom, rest of the meat. Nothing else in there. Empty. Just like that. All right. Claw, one more time. Claw, this right here always has a, a little fine crack in it. You can't really see it on camera, but it's there. It's a little fine crack in it. You take that part, you line it up with your bottom teeth. Uh huh. Now bite down. Bite from the bottom, not with the top. Bite. 
okay and then now you have a crack that you can actually see kind of you can kind of see it there and you just peel that <clears throat> peel off on both sides see that you can bite it again to get this to kind of crack off so you can pull it off easier okay i'm peeling it's coming right off let's take the back off and it came off and again the part that moves you can pull this off just like that just pull it come right off there you go it's your whole crab claw right there and i am going to dip mine in the butter sauce mm. it's hot There it is. Boom. All right, y'all. So I just want to show y'all a little quick So I'm, I'm going to finish eating. Um, but I want to show you guys a quick little video on how to do it. Because I see a lot of people out there struggling or asking, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. And that is how you do it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below subscribe anything you want to do if um you guys want me to make any other videos or anything like that i'm well versed in a lot of stuff and you'd be surprised <laughs> um so comment below subscribe and let me know what it is you want me to do all right guys bye have a great day